It's about creating conversations that you can share. Arrow.net, A-R-R-O-E.net. All right, let's do it. Let's play it forward. These are real people, real stories. Episode number 432 is with Joe Osterman from MTV. Hey, Arrow, how are you? Absolutely fantastic. How are you doing, Jay? Good, good. I'm so happy to uh, so happy to be with you today. Well, I'm happy that that you are you have the inner strength and the ability to be able to speak about something that has always been on the back burner of the everyday world. We always wanted to hide those that may have had a few problems. We don't want to call it mental health, but we just want to get away from them. You know, that's that is there has definitely been a stigma around mental health historically, and, and I think what we're seeing now more and more that stigma is starting to is starting to fall down, and, and the idea of of everybody having mental health and everybody having on having an ongoing relationship with their mental health um, is is, beco- is becoming more and more prevalent uh, throughout society. So I, I feel really lucky that I, I get the chance to, to work on this. There are so many different levels of what mental health is. It's like it's like autism. It's there are so many different levels of autism. How do we start, you know, pinpointing what the situation is so that we can help find some calm? Well, I, I, that's a great question. I really think it, it's uh, it's different for everybody, and so. This is the, the second annual Mental Health Action Day. Uh, it was founded by MTV Entertainment Group and Task Force last year. We now have nearly 1,700 brands, uh, nonprofit organizations, government agencies, and cultural leaders who make up the global movement. It, it's really all about encouraging and empowering people to take action for their mental health, however that works best for them. You know, what's really interesting, Jay, is that, uh, you know, th- th- because of the lockdown, the positive out of the lockdown is, is that we were able to recognize who we were as human beings. The negative is, is that as we go back to the workplace, we've got to get these businesses to understand the empowerment that you guys are doing. We've got to be able to create open space where we can, you know, uh, have a place of mental wellness. No doubt. I couldn't believe I, I couldn't agree with you more. Um, and that's actually a big part of the mental health action based strategy um, this year. We're. We're really trying to push culture past awareness into action mm-hmm. in, in kind of all the ways that take shape. And, and this year we have a, a much deeper partnership with, with a wonderful organization called the Health Action Alliance. Um, and they have really taken on helping to engage corporate employers and, and HR representatives at companies specifically around how to bring uh, mental health action and how to foster psychological safety in workplaces. Um, it was last week they they actually released a playbook that's intended for uh, for HR reps and, and business leaders to have professionally vetted um, a playbook from the American Psychological Association, SHRM, uh, and One Mind at Work that really gives uh, HR reps the tools to bring mental health action taking into their into the workplace. Hey, I'll tell you, my my essential job that I picked up when I was in lockdown, I'll tell you what, th- this month we're all wearing green bands around our arm. We, we It's a sign of unity, and the green band represents, hey, we're in this together. If you have mental issues, make the phone call. We're going to be the, in this together. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, and I couldn't, I couldn't agree more. Um, on Thursday, May 19th, we're our partners from around the world are, are going to come together and really help spread the word, you know, just, just like those, those bands um, and, and making it so that everybody can, can learn more about mental health action taking from, from hosting concerts to co-created public art installations to comedy shows and even free haircuts. Uh, the idea is to share tools and resources that will help audiences take action for their mental health. Don't don't you think mental mental health needs needs groups as well? Just just like I mean, if it, with AA, with just as much as with you know drug abuse and stuff like that, we need those those solid circles. And that's what I'm so proud about with, with you, Jay, is the very fact that at least you're activating it. We know we need it, but you are an activator. Absolutely, and, and this year to to speak to to speak to that. This year's theme for Mental Health Action Day is all about connection. You know, as we've seen so much, uh, so much data around the, the loneliness and isolation stemming from the pandemic, and we've seen, especially among young folks, they're most likely to, as a first step, reach out to a, a friend to su- seek support and turn to peer counseling and things like that. And we want to help make sure that folks are equipped to help out when their friends reach out to them. Just like, you know, having that, having that green wristband to be able to, to really have the tools to help 
a friend or a loved one through what they're going through. And you know, Jay, that there's there's a listener right now that doesn't want to speak openly about it. Is there a website where they can go and secretly get in there and get some information? Because I mean, I don't, I don't want to get you know be a wall in front of somebody finding help. Absolutely, um, I couldn't I couldn't agree more. We have our our resource site is mental health is health dot us and that's that's a really great place to send anybody they'll be greeted with a with a, a short breathing exercise but then we'll be prompted with the feelings and experiences tab so they can they can in the in the safety and privacy of their own home click go there and see like say this is what i'm feeling or this is what i'm experiencing and the site will guide them to actions that they can take and ultimately refer out to to nonprofit partners to help them uh, take things further. And don't, don't you think, though, I realize this is a special day, the, the Mental Health Action Day, but, but it's, it's, it should be every day. Do you not agree? I mean, it's like breast cancer awareness can't be just October. We should be aware of breast cancer every day. No doubt. No doubt. So everybody has heard that diet and exercise are good for your physical health. Our mission is, is to make it just as well known that you can take action for your mental health. And so, but one day is really effective to rally around. So we, we were inspired by Giving Tuesday in that it's an ownerless movement and National Coming Out Day in that it's a, a potentially stigmatized action that by creating a moment to rally folks around can be destigmatized and really by seeing other people speak out about their mental health can encourage others to recognize, you know, oh, hey, I'm not alone. I'm struggling with that as well. And to, to take steps to improve their own mental health. I, I couldn't agree more. This is this is one day, but it's really intended to kick off a, um, a change in culture so we can stop talking about mental health awareness and start talking about mental health action. Oh, I love your heart, man. You have answered your calling, buddy. <laughs> Jay, Jay, you got to come back anytime in the future. The door is always going to be open. This can't be a conversation that stops at just one time because, I mean, you've, you've got a message here that needs to be heard. Aaron, thank you so much for having me and, and using your, your show to help share the message. Um, I really hope that you know, any listeners that uh, that felt spurred to take action will will do so. You bet. You be brilliant today, okay? Back at you, Aaron. I love it.